Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Thank God It's Flow. This is going to be our last episode. I'm concluding my Thank God It's Flow series with this episode. First of all, wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. May all your dreams come true and you be happy as ever and healthy as ever throughout the year. In this episode, we are going to talk about Power Automate versus Dynamics 365 workflows. Remember, at the beginning of the series, I asked you this question, have you found your reason yet to use Power Automate? Well, if not, in this episode, you are going to find one. We will talk about top reasons to start using Power Automate. As a business user and, and a functional consultant, it enables you to do a lot more than what you can achieve with Dynamics 365 workflows. I'm sure that you're looking forward to it. Coming up right after the intro. All right, so let's start it. Uh, as I said in this episode, I wanted to talk about top reasons you should start using Power Automate or top reasons why you should use Power Automate. And basically I'm doing a Power Automate versus Dynamics 365 workflows um, because I wanted to show you and make you aware of the uh, power uh, or the capability which Power Automate or generally Microsoft Flow provides. I know the name has changed, but it is really hard for me to say Power Automate, Power Automate all the time, um, but we have to adjust with it. So as you know, this is Christmas special. This is also the last episode of the series. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays. Um, so I'll start off with a few pointers and then I'll try to show you um, those specific uh, things on Power Automate website and how you can um, see it. Like I just wanted to show you out of the box capability available in Power Automate. Okay, so moving on to next slide. So here's the slide where I'm saying, uh, doing a comparison of both the uh, platforms. In Power Automate, you get to get SMS integration, while in Dynamics 365, it's not out of the box. You either have to create a custom workflow or you have to create a plugin along with the API, integrating it with some SMS providers um, services. So it's like that. While in Power Automate, it's SMS uh, integration is available, just like a template. Um, just to uh, share my experience with you that this used to be something as soon as it's there, I will only jot down the requirement saying SMS integration is required. And for sure, there's a technical required. Technical, when I say, is somebody to me who can code or program, like we all can have different definitions for sure. Um, but as a business user or as a functional consultant, now today we have got the power that we don't really have to seek um, coding or programming inputs in here because you go to Power Automate and you can just search for SMS and you will see a template. And when I'm talking about all these pointers, it is all in context of Dynamics 365. So I'm not saying that it's not available for Dynamics 365, but SMS integration is available with something else. No, it's all available for Dynamics 365 as well as others, because to me, Power Automate is a tool which is system or application agnostic. Like it provides you everything for everything. Like for every application. Okay, so that was SMS integration. Um, I'll uh, actually jump on to Power Automate uh, web browser. So, okay, so all I searched here, so I've, I'm logged in obviously, and all I searched under templates is SMS. And you see, you get Dynamics 365, you send a text, and then you see, you can send a text when uh, again, a new opportunity. Why are you saying too? Because uh, this is a different provider uh, called Nexmo, and then you've got a different provider 
from Microsoft themselves. And then you've got other, this is a customer notification. And then you've got this one as well. Um, so send SMS using text sync when a contact is created in Dynamics 365. What we're going to do is, um, I have tested it personally because I found this one, uh, the cheapest one. I did not want to spend money, um, on this, uh, but it's, it's kind of the cheapest one and it works for Dynamics 365. I have tested it as well. So I'll go to their website called text sync and I'm not getting paid by them for anything. Like I just found the one which is easiest to use and I'm on their private page. So you can look at it. Um, it says, uh, pins, five pins, um, um, an Aussie, uh, currency, if you want to know, it would be just less than 10 cents per outgoing SMS, but inbound SMSs are free. You can have a shared number as well. Um, I, I, in my flow, I configured, I'll actually show it to you. Um, let me just duplicate this one and go to my flows. I actually, uh, you send, so that was one. So basically I have just clicked on that template and it allowed me to work on this. And it also asks you for a connection, um, wherever, whenever you're configuring it, it will ask you for a connection, which is a client ID and client secret key, which obviously you can get via their website. So you have to sign up and they provide you every uh, step to use it with Microsoft Flow. So, which is good. The neighbor's dog is barking and I cannot say anything to them. So excuse me for that. All right. So, so you can check out the pricing as when, when you sign up and you select Microsoft Flow, they provide you all the steps, uh, wherein you'll get two different keys, client ID and some sort of key, and you enter it in your flow, which is here. And I actually used a shared number, which is, uh, which was a number from the US, but I received a text from an Australian number. So which, which is good. Um, okay. So there was one part and it's called textsync.com. Uh, but the text does not have any E. It's like txt, like the text file dot txt. Um, going back to the presentation, um, slide deck. Uh, the second one is social media integration. I see a lot of people asking this question on Dynamics forum and everywhere while social media integration is available with the flow. So, um, on Facebook, if somebody posts anything, you can clearly create a lead out of it. On Twitter, if somebody has uh, posted a specific hashtag, you can create a case out of it. All these things are available with the help of Power Automate. So you just go again, I'll go to Power Automate and I'll click here and I've typed Facebook. And if I scroll it, you can see create a lead in Dynamics 365 and there's a post on my Facebook timeline. So it's there. And similarly for Twitter, similarly for WordPress, similarly for LinkedIn, um, and whatnot. So everything is there. So another example and another reason for you to start using Power Automate, right? I'm sure in this uh, era, everybody wants their applications or business applications to be integrated with social media. Okay, convert Word to PDF in D365. Okay, so you must have seen that quotes, you can create a PDF, but for invoices, you cannot. I'm sure it's that, but you can check it. But what I mean is that you can create a Word template and then ask Flow to convert it to a PDF and then send it to a client, which was like, it's not at all possible with the workflows in Dynamics 365, absolutely not out of the box. So somebody will have to create a custom plug, custom uh, workflow or a plugin or something like that. They will have to do it. Uh, but for you, you just go there, search for this template um, called Word to PDF. And there's so many ways of doing it. Like there, there are multiple ways of doing it. And if you'll Google it, that people have shared a lot of different experiences. So which means there's not just one way to do it. There are so many other ways to do it. But for me, uh, being not able to understand what's JSON, what's the array and things like that, I just picked up the simplest of the simplest template. So if I click next tab and I, 
I've searched word to PDF. Now you look at this, convert a word file in Dynamics 365 to PDF using OneDrive Business. So the only uh, tool it used in between is OneDrive Business and your word template can be converted to a PDF. Click on that and you just have to specify the entities you're going to use it on. Simple as that. Another reason for you to start using Power Automate. Am I saying it too many times? Well, I have to because it's the best thing ever which has happened to me as a functional consultant. Like it, it has reduced so many, so much of dependencies um, when I always used to go to uh, devs and say that, is this possible? Is that possible? Because now my first thing is I just search it here. If it's possible here, I'll do it. And if it's not, I'm sure devs can make it happen anyway because they can do anything. I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, but I'm just saying they can do anything anyway. But for me to learn any programming or any sort of language, it's like another world. So I would rather search and power automate and do it. Okay. Another thing is if you're using Dynamics 365 customer service, so basically um, there might be another application in your organization, which might be salesforce.com because like these are the top players in the market. So if you want to copy Salesforce customers or accounts and contacts to your Dynamics 365, um, when Power Automate wasn't there, it was, um, it was an integration, which is obviously technical. Uh, all you could do as a business user or a functional consultant is provide mapping, like what goes where. Well, now you can actually go to Power Automate, search for this template, and you can just create a flow to copy it to your Dynamics 365. All right, so let me show it to you. So the next tab, I'm sure this was Salesforce. Yeah, Salesforce. And if you scroll down a bit, you see weekly copy contacts from Salesforce to D365, and then you've got more. Copy new Salesforce account to Dynamics 365. Right, and there was contacts, and yeah, and you can click on more templates, and you'll see heaps of more templates. All right, so that's that. Now the next one is Gmail to D three six five. So basically, there's a template available which says whenever an email is received in my Gmail account, create a record out of it. Maybe create a lead. Maybe create and I can maybe create a contact so you can do that. So basically I'm trying to say here that Gmail integration is available. Also, uh, D365 to Google Calendar. So if your organization doesn't use Microsoft Office or Outlook and you're using Gmail, you want your D365 appointments to appear in your Google Calendar, um, you can do it from Flow. So all we have to do is search Gmail on a Power Automate so I go here, I search Gmail and 365 together, and you can see create a new record. Uh, when a record is updated, send an email, um, Google Calendar. So I cannot see Google Calendar here, but it's available. Let me just Google Calendar, if I type that. And here, create event in Google Calendar when appointment is added in Dynamics 365, right? So you've got that too. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, the last three ones are very specific. Like I have struggled with them because I, like, I always expected that this should be part of D365 workflows, but it was never. So you'll have to install an add-on, uh, workflow add-on or create a custom workflow or create a plugin to do these sort of things. So basically this one says update one to many relationship records. Now to give you an example of this, um, this is obviously available in Power Automate for CDs and D365 as well. Um, it's not in Dynamics 365 out of the box. Um, so what I'm trying to tell you here is let's say there's an account, there's a customer and with this customer there are five people you deal with so you'll create five contacts in it so accounts become account has become your one and contact these five contacts are many in a relationship so one to many relationship is like that now let's say if i 
if I update the city of the account, the phone number of the account, or annual revenue of the account, number of employees, something like that. I want that information to flow to contacts as well, but that's not possible via native workflows of D365. So what you do is use Power Automate, create a flow there, there's a template. Um, another example could be that you're somebody, a, a customer has placed an order, but they recently changed their ship to address, right? And you have updated that on account, but that's not updated in the orders and your orders are shipped somewhere else. So that's a major issue. And it, you can use Power Automate, you get rid of that issue. That's why it's there. So, and that's great. Uh, I can show you that template. So the next one, I said account contact, and here you see when an account is updated, update the related record. So when you will click on this, you will have to select account and contact manually. What mean? What it means is that you can also select account and opportunity. So it does not restrict you to only select account and contact. You can select any other entity which have one to many relationship. The other one is it is telling you look up and update child record when a parent, parent record is updated. So that's the same thing, but it does not say this account and contact. So this is more generic and you should probably start using CDS as well. All right. So the next one, update a lookup from a text. So let's say you've got a postcode field or zip postcode for the people in the US. Um, and that's, in Australia, it's a four digit code. So let's assume it's four triple zero. And based on this, you want to populate the region, the territory, the city, if you've got custom entities, uh, city as a custom entity, or you've created sales territories, and you want to populate that, right? You can't do that with D365 workflows. You can't like, like with the out of the box workflow capability, you can't, you'll have to create a plugin to be able to do that. The plugin does the exact same job, what a flow from Power Automate would do. Um, similarly, we have got update opportunity from opportunity close form and there are codes and orders as well. So it was previously, it was like that, that basically in, um, native workflows of D365, you cannot select opportunity close uh, in the selection of entity when you're creating the workflow. Um, so you can't do anything about that. So any information which you want to transfer from the close of opportunity, so that's a form, and you want to transfer that info to the main opportunity form, you have to create a plugin, which you don't know because you have never learned coding. So that's available in Power Automate as a flow. So what I'm going to do for that is I'll give you a reference to my blog, uh, how you can do that. That's not a direct template, um, but you can look at my blog. So that's an update, a look up from a text field, no code. So step by step, I've uh, provided the solution here on my blog. Uh, blog. It's called update a lookup from a text field. You'll search here, update a lookup, and you'll get to this result anyway. Um, similarly, for opportunity update, again, I've got how to update an opportunity, another blog. So these two are not direct templates, but at least there's a solution within Microsoft Flow or Power Automate. And that's what I like about it. Like it allows you to do everything without knowing a single line of coding and that amazes me how powerful it is well um, that's the end of it i hope you got the reason to start using power automate uh, do tell me in the comment section if you have any questions if you have any suggestions if you have any review feedback anything what you want me to do next if you've got any suggestion i'll come back shortly anyway um but you can provide me your feedback and I'll, I'll try and do it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays, guys.